Hello, welcome to this Control Web Panel tutorial. In this video, we're going to be discussing the new file manager in the CWP user panel. CWP is constantly evolving, and to serve you better, we've recently updated the user panel file manager. To access that, go to the sidebar, and under the file management submenu, select file manager. This opens the new file manager with revised appearance and improved functionality. Some of the new features include drag and drop of files and folders within the folder tree, new trash options that include deleting all files permanently by skipping the trash, and this action cannot be reverted. If you do not select the check mark, the item will be deposited to the trash can. And then you can visit the trash by either clicking on the trash folder or using the view trash icon at the bottom of the screen. You can then choose to restore that file. There's also a new upload format featuring a new design and notifications for validation and errors and a new context menu that can be selected by right-clicking an item and selecting a function from the context menu. Some of the functions available in this context menu include renaming the file, downloading the file, editing the content of the file, and this opens a text editor right within your browser where you can edit the file directly and then save your changes. You can also copy the file or move it to another area within the file tree. Delete the file. And there's also an enhanced permissions function, which in addition to allowing you to change the permissions to a specific file or folder, also allows you to set recursive permissions, which will copy your set of permissions to every file and subfolder within the current folder. Across the top, we also have a handy toolbar allowing you to quickly create a new folder directory, create new files, upload new files, select all files and folders within the folder tree, deselect all files and folders within the folder tree, delete selected files or folders, copy, move, compress, set permissions, and resolve IDs. You also have the ability to search for any specific files or folders that you're looking for and filter that search by all files or just the current directory. And at the bottom, you have a quick reference info that shows you your usage and limits, as well as the number of folders and files in this current directory. These changes are designed to improve your experience with CWP. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks very much for watching.